In my previous video, I was talking about the issues with my Glacier Bay toilet. Yesterday I received the parts. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace them. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace those rubber parts on Glacier Bay toilet. In my last video I was talking about uh, the issues that I had so you can watch it if you have the same problems. And yesterday I received the package from Niagara company which uh, looks like uh, owns the, the parts that go inside of the toilet and they sent me two uh, sets of uh, rubber parts. This is the disc that goes on top of the flushing uh, element and this one goes uh, in a different spot I'll show you where it goes and it came with the little instructions and uh, by the way if you need more information about Glacier Bay you can find it on this website Niagara Corp forward slash support if you also have a leak coming from the bottom this is the special washer that is required to uh, fix that problem you have to rotate entire column about a quarter turn and you will see this is the seal that goes around this area so this is the seal that goes around here if you have a leak coming from somewhere over here okay because this thing moves in and out then you put it back everything together quarter turn put it down turn and that's it so first thing first always shut the water off so there is no water coming in and what I'm gonna do is remove this cup first okay and now what I need to do is get to this part so now I need to remove the small pin let's see if I can just push it in So I got the pin, make sure you don't lose it, so now this part is off, now I need to unscrew this, this part, counterclockwise, I'm going to hold the tower, and actually I'm going to remove the, the supplying water hose, also, okay now this is off, now I'm just going to grab the tower and twist this. Now, I need to move this up, so I'm going to go and clean those parts. Now this is the part that needs to be replaced because it is really starting to deteriorate and this was causing the leak uh, in my toilet. I don't know if you can see, this is the old part. This is the new part. At this moment, which was a week ago, I realized that this part that I re received from the factory is not the same part that I need to replace. So right now I'm recording a week after and as you can see, this is the part that I received that was wrong. It's totally different. So I called that company again saying that, you, sorry guys, you sent me the wrong part. It took them another week and they finally sent me the correct part. It looks a little bit different, so it's a modified version of this thing, but it will fit. The biggest problem that I had before is that opening right here, as you can see on the old part, was way too small, so it would not fit on, on this part. So old part, I'm gonna put a new one. So the new part goes on top like this. And even though it looks like this rubber diaphragm fits perfectly on that plastic pin that sticks out of this plastic part, it really doesn't. Uh, what I found out the hard way, I'm not gonna record another video, I'm just uh, showing you on the pictures. And then I broke the pin when I was trying to remove the diaphragm because it really got stuck. So it really, it's not the same uh, size as it appears 
uh, the problem is that right here so this is the part that sticks out of the diaphragm over here on the right you can see this is the flat area and there is something sticking out over here so whenever i was trying to close the lid it really i couldn't do it and then the whole rubber diaphragm got stuck inside of that uh, frame of the plastic frame and when i was trying to remove it i broke the pin so long story short if you really want to replace the part make sure that you have a perfectly identical looking diaphragm so after i broke the pin i called niagara company again and the lady <laughs> was frustrated also seems like they don't have the exactly the same diaphragm that i needed so she just sent me uh the whole column uh, so basically what I need to do now is just to replace the whole thing and uh, basically that's the end of the story. So in summary, if you need to replace the, uh, the diaphragm, make sure you have exactly the same one. Otherwise, you're going to end up uh, replacing the whole uh, tower. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.